for two years I took pottery in high school and I loved it so much and then I en ended up entering the corporate world and I lost it. I, I had to give it up for quite some time and over the last seven years, eight years, I've recently picked it up again. I joined the Fine Arts Club in Paul River here, uh, the local Fine Arts Club. And uh, there's a great group of potters there that have been there for many, many years. And they're um, basically, the club itself is, is a teaching club. The people there assisted in helping me with the basics, with all the things that I'm teaching now to my students. Basically, I, I was able to pick things up really quickly again because it's kind of like riding a bike. You, you kind of don't forget it. It's kind of locked away in the back of your head. And then the rest of it is basically, yeah, I'm self-taught with a lot of, the, a lot of the, the designs and the styles that I do nowadays. A lot of them are my own creations. I've always been artsy. That's what that's the word my mother uses. Um, she's got she's got artwork of mine back from elementary school days. You know, I've always had a really uh, deep connection to the earth, and the earth inspires me to do a lot of these pieces. I it, it sounds very strange, but I sit there, I look at a hunk of clay, and I see something in it. That's, it's like a sculptor, you know, it's hard to ask a sculptor where, the, where their inspiration is coming from because you don't know until you see that piece and you actually um, start doing something with it with your hands and it just evolves from there and it just becomes its own entity, basically. Get your hands dirty. It's very, very important. Um, I encourage anybody to just grab a hunk of clay and just create something. Doesn't matter what it looks like, doesn't matter if it's nice or if it's not nice or if it's, you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder. So that's, yeah, that's would be my final thought would be to say, give it a shot, have some fun. It's like my motto on my business card, it says the heart soars when one's hands are dirty.